Hello, welcome on board. Uh, this is uh, quite essential. Uh, Heeson built motor yacht in 2011. One of the unique features you'll see on, uh, as you arrive on uh, Quite Essential is this uh, very beautiful pool with a uh, waterfall. Please come with me, we'll show you the rest of the boat. Quite Essential, she has this particularity to be uh, highly powered. Uh, she has um, two uh, MTU engines of 4,300 kilowatt each. It is quite uh, unique in this way because you had the advantage to have a low draft, uh, being an aluminium hull and a fast hull as well. That worked usually perfectly for destinations like the Bahamas. Um, during the construction, she was uh, defined with a number of uh, unique features that you rarely, rarely see on a, on a yacht of this size. The entire concept design is from um, Ken Frivok and uh, Michaela Reverberi, while the exterior was uh, designed by um, Omega Architect, and the naval architecture is from Osanen. And the old great name that gives a fantastic pedigree to, to Quite Essential, and she has been the quality of construction is um, standard to what we call Dutch standard, so we are at the high end of the craftsmanship of building yachts. Here on the aft deck we have those two tables with corner sofas. There is a full bar with uh, fridge, ice maker, very uh, convivial part of quite essential as you step on board. So here we are in the main saloon. Uh, this is the access um, welcoming place of uh, Quite Essential. Uh, she's very particular, there's no dining rooms in, uh, in this uh, environment. You have two beautiful saloons, one is designed with a Kenzo sofa, uh, the other one, the purple one, is uh, designed by uh, Fendi. The decoration um, you will see throughout the boat is mainly in um, dark, uh, glossy Macassar and pearl effect wood paneling. The floor is generally uh, it's a wooden floor that's been lacquered, timber oak, and the margin board are in uh, black granite. <laughs> yeah, the effect of space and volume uh, on Quite Essential is, uh, is phenomenal. Uh, you have an amazing uh, um, headroom, uh, which is well over two meters throughout the boat. Um, the um, circular saloon, so this circular saloon now opens on two balconies uh, either side and with the glass, wall, uh, glass bulwark, which gives all this natural light that would come in. Um, you have the TV screen, which is um, recessed in a glass panel, so it's always very elegant, there's no ugly screen pointing out. I mean, everything is about the design, the decoration, and it matches perfectly. Uh, the circulation between the crew and the guests is fantastic and there's great dedication to service, as you're going to see later on the, um, on the exterior decks. Okay, service happens from here, so there's a professional pantry that would lead uh, to the main galley, which is on main deck as well. Okay, here we are on the starboard side, and uh, this is... I, I show you this area because you have two access to come on board when the boat is at anchor. One is through the transom um, with the swim uh, platform. And the second one is the hydraulic uh, sideboarding ladder that will unfold uh, to the sea and you have those nice thick uh, sta uh, steps to come up to the main deck on starboard and that will lead you to the, the main atrium where guests are welcomed in, uh, on board. Okay, now we are in the atrium. This is the, the welcoming area of, uh, on board. You will arrive either from the side deck or you would come from the main saloon aft. The natural light comes down onto the atrium. On the floor you have those glass um, pattern which come to this, from the lower deck to the main deck to the bridge deck. And light keeps coming, falling into the, um, into the, the atrium. The wall, uh, the paneling is made of um, is, uh, sandblasted glass with uh, silver incrustation and uh, the handrail of the, stair the stairwell is uh, galusha. 
in the elevator you can see the skylight uh, that goes right to the top on the sun deck and this is actually the table of the meditation room. Okay, walking forward of the atrium, uh, we have first a day head for guests and a crew access that takes you directly to the crew pantry and galley. And here we access the owner suite, uh, which is um, it's totally um, independent. So you have a first enclosure to give your privacy. There is the first cabin, which is either a VIP cabin or children cabin, or it could be a nanny cabin, a secretary cabin, a bodyguard cabin. Um, it's very, it's very luxurious. It's the same standard as the, the whole boat. On charter, it's used as a, one of the VIP cabin. And then we enter in the owner suite. I mean, this is fabulous. I mean, look at the light, look at the space you have. You won't see any other yacht of this size with this volume. It's probably one of the most spectacular honest cabin I've seen on any yacht below 60 meters. Everything is custom designed. We again, we have the same material with the, the Macassar, glossy Macassar. We have leather uh, countertop, a saloon with uh, an Ottoman. It's got beautiful, you see in the light, I mean, it's incredible. You have the agate, it's um, semi-precious stone. There's quite a few of those. You will find them in the, in the bathroom. So I wanted to show you the, the balconies on, uh, on this uh, on a suite. Uh, you see the space. I mean, it is quite um, staggering that you could anytime come out. So, I mean, you see what I mean. It's a fantastic spot <laughs> to, to relax, um, to read, listen to music and catch a bit of the sun and the fresh air. Okay, now I am in the very private uh, honor study, uh, forward of the honor suite. And then again, more space for dressing. So you can have shoe, shoe racks and dressing for the clothes. So this is more the, the his dressing and Madame dressing would be on the other side of the cabin. Um, as we walked out of there, we have coffee machine, the service that goes with it and here we have a fridge. Yeah, please follow me, I will show you the, the, the honest bathroom now. In the bathroom we have a composite uh, bathtub, onyx floor, I mean the floor, all the bathroom on board uh, all the guest bathroom have heated floor, which is very, very nice when they get a bit cold for your feet. All the mirrors are heated mirrors as well, so this is automatic as you s use the bathroom, they will automatically remove the condensation when you're having a shower or a bath. And as you notice on uh, Quite Essential, there's a lot of natural light, and the natural light on board is generated by those very big windows you have on every deck but also with a very interesting skylight. So here, I'm just looking at the sky, so you have natural light coming into the bathroom, and you have the same feature in the owner's uh, study, uh, private study. As we leave the owner's suite, uh, I would just like to mention that just this room is 70 square meter, and there's a great acoustic privacy. Uh, hence, you see the size of those doors, and uh, they're amazing. They're quite heavy, but it's okay. There's a good, they, they have a good locker, so you can keep them open. And now I'm going to take you to the guest uh, cabin on the lower deck. Okay, we are now on the lower deck uh, level, atrium, which is uh, leading to four guest cabin. The first two forward cabin, there's a twin cabin on starboard, which uh, you look at the details of the, the lamps with um, amethyst and, um, and marble stone. Every, every uh, decoration uh, items are custom made for, for this boat. We have a double cabin forward to port side. They of course all with the bathroom. Okay, now I'm going to show you the um, VIP full beam cabin. Uh, that's the widest cabin on the boat. You have complete space from one side to the other uh, with double bed, TV screen, a little desk, two bathrooms. So we have two bathrooms because there's one bathroom here, there's another bathroom behind and here there's a separation where you can use that portion as, um, 
as a kit cabin, as uh, an extra guest cabin with this, the convertible sofa with its own bathroom and its own entry since the, there is another uh, door entry on that side. Okay, now we're entering the um, Sky Lounge. I mean, this is an incredible uh, feature on this yacht. Um, I think the first thing that strikes your eyes as you walk in is how wide it is. I mean, there's a great beam on this boat and you have the opening balconies, you have the glass mirror, um, the glass uh, bulwark that lets all the light walks in. As you see, all the balcony, all the windows are from ceiling to floor. Um, the sofa, big uh, TV screen, the grand piano. Um, it's, it's quite an incredible place because, I mean, you clearly feel on a on a almost a 60 meter yacht with such a feature. It's very elegant, uh, nothing ostentatious. Okay, as you can see here, there's an amazing headroom. I mean, this is all over the boat on every deck. You have this over two meters headroom. The beautiful dining room. So there's only one dining room interior, but it is such a beautiful dining room. Again, with curved windows, lots of lights, um, skylights that comes down from the, um, from the upper deck, from the sun deck. Uh, you can see 12 people. It is very elegant. As you can see, it's marble glass, brush, stainless steel. Okay, now there's a little detail I wanted to show you. Uh, that makes the life of the chief stewardess and the stewardess amazing on board. You have all your different way of dressing the table. It's a little detail, but it tells you how many things have been thought about designing this yacht. You have your aft deck with the sofas, a full um, wet bar. So in the wet bar you will find the fridge, you will find the ice maker, uh, sink, all the storage for glasses. So now we are leaving from the aft bridge deck. As we go through, uh, there's an interesting uh, feature which is the diving board. I mean, that's a great, it's a bit challenging, it's quite high, but there's a board that comes in and you can jump in the sea. And then before we go to the, to the sun deck, there is this feature which is also very practical is the wind protection door. Wind protection that stops all the draft. Okay, now we're entering into the um, bridge, navigation bridge. Uh, this is where all the controls um, are for the boat, uh, for the engine, for the stabilizers. It's equipped with zero speed stabilizers. You have the monitoring camera, you have the radars. Uh, you have the nav tracking, um, all the compass and table for guests if they want to uh, sit here during the navigation. And of course you have in front the, the forward deck with the, lounging, um, the sun lounging uh, area. That's also quite a unique feature. We have a very, very spacious Lounge, sun lounge area with cushions, umbrellas. This is forward of the bridge. There's a possibility to have a dining room or dining table here al fresco, maybe for breakfast uh, or for evening drinks at anchor. Okay, it's also an interesting uh, feature which are the two skylights because we are exactly above the honors uh, suite. So this skylight for the honor study and this skylight for the honor's bathroom and they're absolutely, um, how do you say, you cannot see through. So you see the light from inside but you don't see what's happening down below. So now we are on the sun deck, aft sun deck. Uh, interesting feature is to look at the skylight that goes down to the dining room. That's also quite unique. I mean, they are I think probably four skylights uh, total on the boat. Dining table, aft al fresco, another wet bar with a fridge, ice maker, sink and storage. 
we have a kinesis, then we have a cross trainer and an elliptical. There is a TV screen and each equipment has its standard software to control your efforts and progress. So near still on the sun deck after the, the gym. Um, we have here on the port side uh, this amazing uh, sauna. Um, I mean there is a sauna which is full solar for two person, proper thin sauna. Here we have the um, bathroom with shower, rain shower, heads, um, heated rail for towels. All the bathrooms, I uh, repeat again, are uh, equipped with um, a heated floor as well. On port side here again, we have a full size hammam. Let's prepare and go probably four to five person in the hammam. Uh, it's very functional. Uh, the hammam it takes about um, an hour or so to, to be operational, the sauna it takes 45 minutes. Now to complete the, the spa treatment, you couldn't do without um, a beauty room and a massage room. So this is a convertible seat that could be transformed as a massage table. As we walk forward of the meditation room, we are on the forward of the sun deck with the jacuzzi, the sun pads, the umbrellas. That's the last area to relax on board. Uh, there are so many now, you've seen all of them. And uh, that's also one of the best. Uh, you can see that you have um, the glass, uh, tinted glass to protect you from the wind so you can enjoy the view in navigation from here as well protect, uh, with full protection. Well, that's it. This is the end of the tour on board Quad Essential. I hope you, you liked her. As you can see, she's got a fair amount of uh, total unique features. And if you need any further information, uh, please contact your favorite broker. Thank you.